Good evening. It's nighttime here in Los Angeles. And in the spirit of nighttime and in the spirit of darkness, tonight we are doing a horror patch. So like um, uh, kind of in the spirit of string synthesizer. So um, I love that like dark, creepy sound of a string synth. Um, right now in that realm, the only thing I really have, um, hardware wise for that is the Waldorf strike fet. And while that sounds really cool, I still like kind of trying to chase that similar sound, um, in different hardware. So for tonight, um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do it on the Hydrosynth Explorer. So, um, I love the Hydrosynth Explorer. I love it for um, its portability, how small it is, its interface. Um, it's very intuitive interface with like the, uh, the signal chain going across here, uh, the ability to do modulations by holding a button and then pressing the destination. It's just a, such a cool synth. Um, you know, it's, I, I like to say it's my couch synth because I, I find myself sitting on my couch like making patches with it. So, um, just absolutely love this thing. And so, but yeah, so that's what we'll be doing we're, is we're going to make like a, I don't want to say a string synth patch because I don't think I quite nail that sound on this one, or at least what I've tried to do. And I've got a little cheat sheet for it, but that will go through. But, um, basically I'm, that's why I'm calling it like my horror patch. And it's funny cause I was thinking about it the other day that like, while I love the string synth sound, I realized um, I don't know what I can kind of pin it on. I'd love to hear you chime in on the comments as far as like what, what it's in, because I love the sound. I've used it on songs. I've used it on a, uh, a YouTube video a few months ago where I, um, scored a Donald Pleasance like PSA and used some strength synthesizer with it. And, uh, you know, I get tangerine dream vibes from it, but <laughs> I just, I realized all of a sudden like, wow, I love this sound, but I, I can't even quite remember where it comes from, but, uh, but yeah, let's, let's dive in and, uh, uh, let's make a horror patch before we get started. I got to do the whole, I have a channel piece. So this is my channel. Thanks for visiting. Um, would love to have you subscribe. Um, and then also, uh, help support the channel. I've got affiliate link to perfect circuit. So anything you, if you click on that link and anything you buy, um, you know, helps a little bit with supporting this channel. Um, you know, perfect circuit is a great spot. I actually live pretty close to it. It's where I got my hydrosynth explorer from. And, uh, yeah. Um, thank you for supporting. I hope you love it. And like I always say, like, if you want to hear me shut up, I do tons of no talking videos. So check those out too, where I'm just jamming and having fun. All right. So here we are just, I've got an initialized patch set up and because uh, I have limited key key ability here uh, you're gonna always hear me play in some kind of variation where C is the root note here um, and so that's what we'll we'll end up making like a, a cool sound so all right first for this patch uh, we're gonna keep it very simple so one of the first things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the mixer section of the signal chain here and I'm just going to turn up all the oscillators here. So it's already given us. So you're already hearing like a lot of, I mean, obviously it's louder because you're hearing all the oscillators, but because oscillator three is um, automatically like pitched down a little bit, you get more of that full sound. And I'm going to be constantly checking my cheat sheet here. So that's what I'm looking at because it's hard to remember all this stuff, but so anyhow, so um, what I do is then I go from the mixer section, I go back to my oscillators and I'm going to pitch those a little bit different here. So if I go into oscillator two, I'm going to um, I'm going to go down uh, or yeah, I'm gonna go minus 12 cents there. So kind of giving it just more, you know, that slightly detuned sound to kind of make it bigger. And then the same thing on oscillator three, I'm going to come up 24 cents. And one thing that I skipped that we'll go ahead and fix right now is I'm going to put these all on pulse. This pulse one wave. 
there's a bunch on like look at that's what's cool about the hydrosynth look at all these all these waveforms right i didn't even get to the point where i was going to you know really dive into these but yeah we're just going to keep it simple and go with pulse one for all these whoops so pulse one for that one and then pulse one for that one so what we got kind of like a like a thinner timbre on there so already a lot of change just meant from messing with the oscillator levels and the waveform and then messing with those little bit of pitch there next thing we're going to go this is going to help a lot too is the uh, the amplitude envelope so just go go down the signal chain here and come up to that and it's i mean like i said it's not i'm saying this is like string synth inspired so um the cool thing about string synths is that kind of slower attack so I've, i'm gonna go up to 1.08 seconds so just kind of got to get it there so now it's oh that's cool already i have the decay coming up just a little bit to like five 5.44 5.44 seconds well it's just 5.63 and then some release to kind of let that let that sound linger yeah so here so that's cool like it's so fun to you know kind of get things going a little bit and kind of just see where you get into It's so much louder already. I mean, um, you know, and it, I just think it's exciting. <laughs> so, all right. So now, now we're gonna get into some. Now we're gonna get into some modulation. Um, LFO, LFO one. We're gonna do. We're gonna take that to uh, oscillator two. So you could. I think you could kind of get the same effect if you did the. Um, there's like a not a pitch wobble effect, but because that's what we're kind of doing. But there's a um, like almost the equivalent of like a vintage mode in here under the voice piece, uh, analog flutter. That's what it's called. So you could theoretically do that, but um, I'm just gonna do the LFO to oscillator two. And this is the cool thing about the hydrosynth. So LFO one, I'm holding. I press oscillator two, and here I have the uh, the mod matrix just automatically pulls up. So I'm gonna do pitch. I went away from it there for a second. And then you just go down to that. And I am going to adjust it just barely, just very subtle. Just like a, there we go. So. Kind of gives it, gives it a little bit of, a little bit of wobble there. And then I want to slow down that wobble a little bit. So I go into LFO one. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of just slow that down. 0.46 there. Or 48, whatever. Yeah, so adding a little bit more character to that sound. And then, um, and then LFL, LFO2, I'm going to, I'm gonna go put it to the filter. Cause you gotta have a little bit of in and out there. Um, and so what we'll do is we'll put the filter at 12 o'clock. Now we got. I found with this patch, like I don't really have to mess with the resonance too much or else it starts to kind of add a little too much. I don't know if it's artifact or what, but I like, I love adding resonance, but in this instance, I don't think I typically do. Um, so yeah, so this one we're going to, we've got, we've already got it linked up to the filter cutoff and I'm not going to go too crazy, just like a 13 depth here and then we'll slow it down because it's. We'll slow down that rate a little bit. There we go. So 
we're get, starting to get more character there. And then now we add the onboard effect. So with this kind of like stringiness and kind of like almost kind of character of that, this is where we start to add the effects and they really start to pop. And I'm curious to see how other people who have the Hydra synth use the, um, use the effects because, um, because I like, I just kind of like, I go along the chain and just add them, but I, I don't know, like I haven't explored it too much. So I'd be very curious to see how other people do it. So here's the chorus. And then, so I just, we're going all the way wet. And then, um, and then going all the way on the depth. So, man, I know it kind of like, you, you kind of might think it's sloppy with all that, like being so drowned in the effects, but I'm just fine by fine tuning some of these other parameters, like the Hertz right here offsetting a little bit and doing that yeah so now like with everything it's starting to gel a little bit more Okay, so I did have something where I was also doing the poly aftertouch with it. The problem I find, so we're going to add it at the end because I tend to just have like fingers made of lead or something because once I apply that poly aftertouch effect, I almost always like activate it and so it really goes nuts. But hang tight and I'll show you um, what to do with that. Another cool thing you can do with this one is to... Um, is to just the mod wheel is automatically set to vibrato, I believe. So if you just add like a hair here, it just kind of adds like a little bit more wobble. And then last but not least, the key to make this just real eerie and real kind of like of that, oh, but my, but my, um, but my screen there, um, just real eerie and of the time of like the seventies feel, I feel like, um, is the phaser baby. So we go to the phaser here. Let's sync that up, go all the way on the wetness. And then here we go. <laughs> And then fun ways to kind of play with it too. Like, um, like I said, this is kind of something that's an ongoing fun experiment for me. So I just figured it's something to kind of share that I'm always on the quest of like perfecting different ones. I've literally, um, I, I'm not going to go out of it right now, but I have probably like four or five different stringer like variations that I've tried on this one alone. Or like I said, I'm, we're calling it horror patch just cause I don't want to commit to stringer cause this is not quite it. But anyhow, some other experimentation stuff you could do with it is like on the voice section, um, we can go to stereo width and kind of make it very wide and that should get it really fun. And then the warm mode, which kind of adds a little bit more. I, I'm no hydrosynth expert, but it should add like a little bit more low end for you. Yeah, so those like, and you can kind of play with it there. So hopefully it gets you off to a decent start. Um, I'm always looking for cool variations of somebody that did real cool stringer patches, N maybe not necessarily on a stringer synth because a, I've looked for these stringers cause I really want one, but like most of the good ones don't have like MIDI, um, and they're just old. And as, as much as I love synthesizers, I kind of 
know me if you saw my place and how messy it is like i don't have the time to <laughs> um maintain synths so so yeah so i'm just having fun kind of making that sound and um yeah oh so lastly the one thing that, I, that i'll share with you is the uh poly aftertouch so one thing if we go to the uh, mod matrix and we've got two slots filled up and there's tons of slots on the um the hydrosynth explorer we're going to go here and we're going to scroll over to the poly aftertouch um there it is and then we're going to assign it to all oscillators and then the pitch and then um, I'm not going to go too crazy. So we'll just do like 17 because it'll like or close to 17. I'll go just under here. But so you just. And that that just that wobble just. so big oh boy that is just that to me is uh, oh man it's super cool so anyhow so that's my iteration of like a horror patch and um you know like i said this channel's all about um my love for synthesizers sharing that with you hearing what you say because i know there's so much expertise out there and uh i just have fun sharing sharing my learnings with you and uh this is something that i'm always on a quest for is a great stringer horror style patch so uh i would love to hear from you and um hear how you make this kind of stuff and what you thought of this one and 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 go from there um thanks Thanks.